Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. A company produces X units. That's our way of saying some number of units, and X is going to represent the units that we produce per month. All right, so X is a variable, and they're defining it right here as units of a product per month. She might even write that down. X equals units per, I use a line for per, month, a slash, right, units per month. And C of X, now this is function notation, C of X, it means a, an output C based on the input X. Output C of X, right, represented mostly by C, based on an input X. So you can think of C as the output, but really that could mislead you to think of C of X as the output. So uh, an X is your input. And that represents the total cost. So C of X is the total cost based on the number of units we produce per month based on X. And then we have another function, R of X, represented by the total revenue. R of X equals total revenue for the month. So we have cost and revenue. Revenue is the money coming in. Cost is the money that you're losing to make your product. So when you make something, it costs something to make it. That's what C of X represents. And then you sell it, you get some, some income for it. That's R of X, or revenue. The functions are modeled by C of X equals 300X plus 250, and R of X equals negative 0.5X squared plus 800X minus 100. The profit is the difference between the revenue and cost. So basically, profit, P of X, the profit based on the, the units and whatever is, and this makes sense. Think about it. It's the revenue you're making, right, based on X, minus the cost of making those objects. As a really simple example, imagine that you want to figure out your profit, and um, let's just ignore function notation for a moment to really simplify this down. Profit is revenue minus cost. So if, if you have revenue $100 coming into your company, but it cost you $40 to make it, um, how much profit do you have? Profit's the difference between these two. That would mean you made $60 of profit because you have 100 in revenue and 40 in cost. So here, it makes sense that we're going to subtract these functions uh, to find out what the profit is. Now, uh, here, we're not just subtracting numbers, we're subtracting equations because R of X and C of X are actually represented by these equations that they give us. So let's rewrite that. We'll change colors. Um, so C of X equals 300 x plus 250 and actually I want to move this down because we're subtracting that uh, from uh, R of x actually you know I'll leave I'll leave it right here and then uh, R of x I'll write in green for money right revenue is negative 0.5 x squared plus 800 x minus 100 and we're subtracting these two so let's do that so I want to rewrite it a third time um, just to line things up really nicely. Point, negative 0.5x squared plus 800x minus 100. And then we're subtracting minus, I'll use parentheses here because I want to distribute the subtraction sign. There are no t terms in C of x, excuse me, with x squared. So the first term, 300x, I'm going to line up with 800x. And the 250, I'm going to line up with the, the 100 the negative 100, uh, excuse me, above it. So now we subtract. So first of all, we have negative 0.5x squared minus, well, there's no corresponding value. So it's just negative 0.5x squared. Then we have a 800 minus 300x, which is uh, positive 500x. And here we have negative 100, and we're subtracting 250. So it's really like negative 100. Uh, plus negative 250, if you think of it that way. But the either way is you've got to distribute the subtraction sign. So just don't treat this as plus 250. Don't do negative 100 plus 250. It's really negative 100 minus 250, and that's minus 350. All right? So this is our answer. Let's see if we can find it in choices. Uh, and here it is in choice 2. All right? Negative 0.5x squared uh, plus 500x minus 350. That's exactly what we got. So that worked out. I hope this helped.